we're gonna be making cannolis. Mmm. This is pretty much the recipe that I have in my first cookbook, um, Just Desserts which is actually not a vegan cookbook. It's only gluten and dairy free, but this particular recipe actually happens to be vegan. So we're pretty much gonna be following that recipe with a couple of uh, slight additions. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is make the shells. Now this is exactly the same as my pie crust recipe. So I'm just gonna make a, uh, the dough for pie crust and roll it out. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it, but you can check my uh, pie crust recipe. I have another video uh, showing how to do that. All right, so this is basically what I would normally use for my pie crust. Um, I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the tapioca flour. Um, just since we're gonna roll it out, I want it to be a little bit, a little bit drier than I would normally use. And then I'm gonna chill this for about 30 minutes. So while we are waiting for the dough to chill, uh, I'm gonna do something a little extra that's not in my cookbook. Um, I'm gonna make some carob chips for the cannolis. And I do have a recipe for carob chips in my uh, last cookbook, not just desserts, but I'm gonna do something that's a little bit easier. So I've got a quarter cup of coconut oil, raw uh, coconut oil. And I'm just gonna heat that to the point of melting. Don't want it to get hot, just melty. And I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of maple syrup to sweeten it. And then once it's all melted, I'm gonna start adding unsweetened carob powder. Now, again, you can always use cocoa powder if you wanna make a chocolate. And I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time and mix it in. And we just want to get it to the point where it's a nice, smooth, pourable kind of consistency. Now, if it gets to the point where it starts to separate out, uh, you can just stop there and we can ignore the liquid part of it. And we just want to deal with this smooth part. So I'm going to take this and transfer it into a squeeze bottle. And now I have a piece of wax paper and I'm going to squeeze out the uh, chips, make some chip shapes. And then I'm gonna take this whole thing and just stick it in the freezer and they will harden up very quickly that way. And uh, then we can use them in the cannolis. All right, so we've got our chilled dough. And I'm just gonna work a little more flour into it. We just wanna get it to the point where it's really not sticky at all. Also wanna flour the uh, surface. Got a piece of wax paper down. so. Nothing will stick. And flour the top really well too. Put another piece of wax paper on top. And then we're gonna roll it out to around an eighth of an inch thickness. Maybe a little thinner. Always check the paper periodically to make sure it's not sticking and then flour the top a little more if it is sticking. All right, and now we can start cutting 
our circles. And you want to use a cutter that is a little bit smaller than the cannoli molds that you're using. So just depending on the size of your molds. So this is a three inch cutter and it's a little bit smaller, it's perfect. And I'm just gonna cut a bunch of circles. And then I'm going to remove the extra dough and just set it aside. Put it back in my bowl and uh, chill it until I'm ready for the next round. Okay, so now we want to make sure that all of these circles are nice and loosened, that they're not going to stick to the paper. So I just like to uh, use a spatula just to go underneath and make sure that they're well floured underneath. Uh, now we just want to, uh, I'm going to flour the molds one at a time, just just get them a little bit floured. And then we're going to roll the uh, shell onto the mold. So we'll just put it on one side, lift it with your fingers and just kind of carefully roll it. And then it's a good idea to just wet your finger and wet the end of it to make sure that it's going to stick when you roll it around. Now, if you wanted to, you can uh, deep fry these. I don't like to fry anything if I don't have to. Um, you can bake them at 375 for around 14 minutes. Uh, or what I'm going to try today is use my air fryer. So I've got my basket here. I'm just going to spray a little bit of oil in the bottom and just lay the mold on top there. And just we're just going to spread them out and then I'm going to air fry these at 400 degrees for around five to seven minutes. And here we have the baked uh, cannoli shells and then we just need to wait for them to cool and then we can remove them from the shells and continue with the rest of the shells. All right, so once uh, the shells are cooled to remove them, uh, you just want to hold on to the shell and twist the, um, twist the mold and it should slide right out like that. And there you have your shell. And then we can continue with the next batch. And now I have the remaining dough from the fridge and I'm gonna continue rolling out with this part of the dough and then just keep going until all the dough is used up. We should get around uh, 16 shells, but we'll see. See where we wind up when we're all done. Now while we're waiting for the last batch of shells to cool, we can go ahead and make the filling. And we're gonna start with two cups of cashews that have been soaked overnight and then drained. And throw them in a food processor or a blender. And then we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. And three quarters of a cup of vegan milk and a quarter cup of uh, coconut butter, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and about a teaspoon of freshly grated orange peel. And then we just blend until smooth. Okay, 
Okay, so it's a little bit watery right now. And uh, so we're just gonna chill this and it'll thicken up quite a bit. So we're just gonna chill it until it thickens and then we'll be able to fill the shells. All right, now I'm ready to uh, fill the shells. So I have the filling, which has been chilled. I'm gonna pipe up, uh, pour it into a pastry bag. So we can pipe, pipe the filling. So we just want to pipe it in each side. So it gets completely filled. And now that the shells are all filled, the next thing I'm gonna do is just sift some powdered sugar on top. And then I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of a carob glaze. Um, so I'm gonna take a half a cup of powdered sugar, and then I'm gonna add uh, two tablespoons of carob powder. Again, use cocoa powder if you want it to be chocolate. And I'm gonna add a little bit of vegan milk just to get it started. And I'm gonna heat this up to keep it thin because uh, when it cools too much, it's gonna to start to harden and get thick. So I wanna keep it thin. Just keep adding a little more vegan milk until you get the consistency you want. Okay, so that's nice and runny now. And I'm gonna pour it into a squeeze bottle. And then I'm gonna decorate the cannolis with the Carob glaze, just strings back and forth. And then we just need to wait for that to cool and it will uh, thicken up and eventually harden. So um, then we can go to the last step. And the last thing we wanna do is uh, we take our carob chips out of the freezer and they will come right off of the wax paper. And uh, we can use them to decorate the ends of the cannolis. So we just wanna stick a few. And here we have the finished cannolis, ready to eat. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh, please, if you have recommendations for recipes that you would like to see, feel free to put them in the comments and I will try to make them. So uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.